What's up guys, Sean here with a 2014 Honda CB1100. I'm really excited about this bike, it's very cool. It's a classic CB look with modern fuel injection and just, you know, they modernized it. But it's still that classic look and feel. It's a lot of fun to ride, it's a very smooth bike. If you're interested more, check out the uh, test drive video of it. Now this bike is a 2014, it's got 921 miles on it. It is incredibly clean. Only a few minor, minor, minor little defects that you wouldn't even notice if you came and looked at it. But I'm going to point them out to you. I want you guys to know exactly what you're buying. The seat looks amazing. Tank looks amazing. Engine looks great. So clean. Just like a new bike. It's never been down. No scrapes on the pegs or the... Or the uh, What's this called? The brake lever. No scrapes on the exhaust. You come over here, everything looks good. No scrapes on the engine covers. No scrapes on the bar ends, the lever ends. Tires are amazing, you know, 900 miles on them. Everything about this bike is great. No chips in the tank, no chips in the paint. Uh, the one, one flaw is, right, if you look down here, very light little scratch on the bottom of the frame right there not even sure how that would have happened could happen from the from when they delivered it from the factory tires are great front fender is great it's cool these are i like the, the whole chrome fenders i mean that's that's classic 80s 80s bikes it's a it's a wild look dual rotors come over here a little bit of dirt bike looks great this bike bar ends lever ends perfect this bike was traded in for a uh, for a new Harley Davidson and their loss oh it's got a center stand too center stand chain drive guys this bike is super super nice you're gonna love it back tire of course is you know pretty much perfect looking um, this bike is all stock. Tank looks great. Mirror needs to be tightened down. <clears throat> it's got a little windshield thing you can always take off if you don't like it. So that cool little digital gauge right there, 921 miles. Digital fuel gauge. I think that in the center is a, uh, a gear indicator, which is always nice. Speedometer, tachometer. Guys, this is a great bike. It's going to be a killer, killer price. Look down below for the price. I haven't decided what I'm going to sell it for yet, but compared to MSRP, it's going to be cheap. This thing is pushing out just under 90 horsepower, and it weighs like 554. So it's a pretty decent power to weight ratio. It's no, it's no leader bike, but it still moves. It's a lot of fun, and it is incredibly smooth with that inline four cylinder, guys. Let's, uh, like I said before, check out the test drive. It is a lot of fun to drive. Fire this thing up. I have to hold the clutch in to fire it up. I have to turn the key on. There we go. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's not. Here we go. I had the kickstand down and the bike in gear. That's why I couldn't fire it up. Guys, super smooth. Really quiet bike. I like a quiet bike. Revs fast, a lot of fun to drive, guys. Someone's gonna fall in love with this bike. Don't go buy it new. Buy it used, you're gonna save a whole lot of money. I don't charge dock fees or shipping fees, all these special fees that they hide in that they, they don't tell you about. I don't charge any of that nonsense. Whatever the price is, that's what you pay. And then, you know, if you're local, you gotta pay the state, of course. But, um, and guys, I, ship, I can ship this bike anywhere. All over the country, guys. I ship bikes all over the country. It's cheap. No more than probably 600 bucks coast to coast. Um, all right, guys, uh, subscribe and check out the uh, test drive video.